Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Brian Keogh. I'm a product marketing manager on the Data Center team. And today we're going to be talking about advanced user management in Data Center. More specifically, we're going to take a look at the new and upcoming product investments we're making in the space and how these improvements will help to optimize your workflow and organizational efficiency. The first focus area of ours that I'd like to speak to is ensuring a secure authorization framework for our products so that they support the leading standards and are easy to integrate with other tools. The OAuth 2.0 authorization framework is well known as the leading data sharing standard on the market, and for good reason. For one, it's incredibly secure. It allows limited access to the user's data. It allows platforms to block attackers from logging into accounts, even if they've somehow retrieved user credentials. And in addition to all of that, it is easier to implement and provides a base layer for stronger authentication. It's for these reasons and more that we're excited to announce that we will be providing support for OAuth 2.0 in Data Center. Support will come in two forms with both outbound and inbound integrations being addressed, meaning that our Data Center products will be addressing use cases where external systems will be able to interact with Atlassian products and vice versa. One real-world example of outbound support comes with the recent mandates by both Microsoft and Google that integrations with their mail servers must support the OAuth 2.0 authorization framework as a measure to increase security. For Microsoft, this means ending the ability to use basic authentication in Exchange Cloud. For Google, it means the same with Gmail. It's for reasons like this and others why we're building support for OAuth 2.0 into our data center products making integrations easier and less time intensive so admins can focus their time on business outcomes rather than workarounds. But we're not just addressing improvements in authorization capabilities. We're also expanding our footprint for authentication. Authentication is the foundation of single sign-on, something I'm sure we're all familiar with and thankful for. And there are currently two leading standards that organizations deploy for exchanging authentication and user data between service and identity providers, SAML and OpenID Connect. Now, this isn't to say that these are the only two options. Many organizations still use basic authentication. However, this met method does not offer near the amount of security benefits that a SAML or OpenID Connect would provide, which is why we're seeing so many organizations require the use of one or the other. For most of you, that means that life will be much easier if Atlassian tools offer support for these authentication protocols. Now, we had already provided support for SAML across our core data center products, but the most recent step we've taken is providing product support for OpenID Connect. So you can now delegate authentication to the OpenID Connect or SAML identity provider of your choice to connect Atlassian data center products with your identity infrastructure. With the extended range of supported authentication options, you have more flexibility to achieve single sign-on for users across the entire organization, enabling the Atlassian products to support both SAML and OpenID Connect also makes it easier to comply with any security standards or requirements set by your organization. As for OpenID Connect in particular, um, it's easy to integrate and offers the features and security options to match and adapt to the increasingly demanding enterprise requirements that everyone's seeing. Support for SAML and OpenID Connect authentication is automatically bundled into our data center products, starting in Jira, Jira software versions 8.7, Jira service desk 4.7, Bitbucket 7.0, and Confluence 7.5. You can also download our plugin from the marketplace to ensure to enable support for your current version of any of these data center products. And the support for these security standards is just phase one of our broader goal to enable flexible and secure authorization and authentication. On top of support for OAuth 2.0, SAML and OpenID Connect, we'll also be shipping the ability to integrate with multiple identity providers. Enterprises by nature are large and complex and often deploy disparate services that flow through different identity providers. Take single sign-on, for instance. Most enterprises see different subsidiaries or teams using multiple single sign-on providers, or they have internal users authenticating against one identity provider and external users or customers authenticating against another. 
In order for all of this to work with their Atlassian toolset, they need federated access to resources from Jira, Confluence, or Bitbucket for various business partners using their identity infrastructure. Current SAML and OpenID Connect implementation and data center products allow admins to configure just one single identity provider. So there wasn't a way to add more than one identity provider in SAML or OpenID Connect configurations in Jira, Confluence, and Bitbucket data center which is why we're so excited to announce that we will be supporting the use of multiple IDPs for SAML and OpenID Connect in data center products. With support for multiple IDPs, your data center products will allow users to authenticate with different IDPs based on the domain name and their email address. A common example of this is when your organization has an external facing website or portal that's accessed by both your users, partners, and customers. With our products supporting the use of multiple IDPs, you'll have more control and agility for what can become a spaghetti pile of services. It's also important to note the major identity providers that Atlassian Data Center supports out of the box. Included but not limited to Okta, OneLogin, Microsoft Azure Active Directory, and Microsoft Active Directory Federation Services, PingOne, and Vidium, just to name a few. And even if your organization uses an IDP that we didn't mention there, you can also set up a custom SAML or OpenID Connect implementation with the identity provider of your choice. Last but certainly not least, we're working to improve user management efficiency by turning our sites to user provisioning and how to automate some of that process. As your company grows and you have more people in your systems, it makes sense to move from manual provisioning to automated policy-driven access management using your IDP. This gives IT a centralized view into, into the permissions assigned to each user, and it allows you to automatically provision and deactivate users using pre-established rules based on user or group attributes. As a means of facilitating this process, we're excited to announce that we'll be providing support for a protocol known as the System for Cross-Domain Identity Management also known as SKIM, which manages user identities with an IDP and then syncs those identities with your Atlassian products. For example, you can assign a user to an Atlassian application in Okta and your data center product will automatically detect those changes. Another way you'll be able to take advantage of automation to streamline the user provisioning process is by enabling just-in-time user provisioning. Just-in-time provisioning helps reduce frictions for admins who need to provision new users by automatically creating an account when a new user authenticates into an application for the first time using SSO. This will help optimize license consumption and enable your IDP to serve as a single source of truth for authentication and authorization. And these are just some of the ways that we're focusing on workflow and efficiency in data center. You'll see many more product investments focused on helping customers to standardize and optimize their workflow process, as well as reach peak efficiency without sacrificing their team's autonomy in the, in the months and quarters to come. So we're super excited about a lot of this work that we're putting out there. But that's about all we have for this session. So thank you so much for joining, and I hope you're as excited as we are for these new capabilities that will help ensure security at scale as well as workflow and efficiency at scale in data center.